found a bit of old bar and uh, knew what I wanted to make out of it straight away. A couple of blocks, one underneath, one down from the top, across the lathe carriageway and um, it'll make a nice carriage stop. Two screws to hold it in, get it there clamped nice and tight and there's going to be some other features later on as well to make it a micrometer carriage stop. Cut the bar off there, no need to be fussy about that. And then get through the rust and general corrosion, trying to make a couple of approximate rectangular blocks out of it. Of course there's never any harm in practicing hitting the dimension. Might as well do it when you can. Now because when it's finished I'm going to be looking at this thing for hours and hours on end. Trying to clean it up with a fly cut. Do it flat. Do it square. Get a nice surface finish. And just takes so long to do with a fly cutter though. Just a couple of words about cutting this um, V-groove feature. Uh, because I modelled it and because I created this drawing, I was able to put on the dimensions that I wanted to know when I would come to machine it and measure it. So what's going to happen here, and this drawing's upside down in relation to where it's going to be in the vise. You're going to see me come down and bring the milling cutter down to the top of that point there. Then I'm going to move the milling cutter across, get it out the way of the part, and I will bring it down 16.34 millimeters. So that dimension there plus 0.1 of the feeler gauge that I'll use to edge find. So that cutter will then be at the correct depth to cut that bottom feature. Then I'll move the cutter along, cutting away, just to make the groove. That face there needs to be 15.7 millimeters away from this corner and I'll be able to measure that distance with the micrometer as I go. So there's no need for any other dimensions to be put on the drawing apart from the two dimensions that I need to be able to cut the feature. And it's all going to come down to edge finding on that point and measuring between that point and that face. Thank you. 
This is the lower block piece that's going to go underneath the carriageway. It's only going to have a shallow step in the top just to give it some um, planting bias on the outside of the block and a large step on the front of it to get under the carriageway itself. And then a couple of holes in that um, threaded to M6 to take the two screws. These are through holes in the upper block of the stop. But they need to be counterboard to um, bury the heads of the screws. It's going to be two Allen head screws. And I want them to be subsurface of that block. Because in the future I'll be able to stick magnetic um, indicators and the like on top of a flat surface that I can move around on the carriageway. It's another part of getting it all flat and getting it the size that it is. Now I want this hole to be 10 millimeters and fairly snug. It's um, going to have a specialized bolt put in there to finish the stop off. So rather than drill it, ream it instead. And a small M4 hole in the side. Um, that's going to take a dog tipped screw to fit into a groove in the 10 millimeter screw to stop the 10 millimeter screw from rotating. Now if this stop was going to be just a straightforward pair of blocks like that, the carriage would actually hit the stop by using its um, felt wiper captive screws, those little black blocks there on front of the carriage. And that wouldn't make for a good stop. Those screws will come undone, they'll get damaged, they'll come loose and everything else. So the hole in the outside of the carriage stop it's going to accept 10 millimeter bolt and then the bolt tip is going to hit on the mass of the carriage and not the felt wiper it's not going to be that bolt that i'm putting there that's just to make sure that everything fits so the carriage is hitting on that nut or the tip of the bolt instead of on the felt wiper and part two of the making of this thing is going to be the making of the stop screw itself and the lock nut and the micrometer nut that's going to allow for some fine adjustment should that be needed. <laughs> 